You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about women's tennis, the WTA Tour. Because I found out about this a few days ago. There were certain allegations that were made from a Chinese tennis player about certain, um, how can I say it and clean it up for YouTube here? I really can't go into details on this, but use your imagination here. We all know about the Me Too movement that's been going on. She was basically Me Tooed by somebody high up in the Chinese Communist Party. And ladies and gentlemen, the report to now is that this young lady is missing. Nobody has heard from her in like two weeks. And it's starting to raise a lot of questions. Uh, Naomi Osaka is out there wondering what's going on. Uh, Stan Wawrinka, uh, the uh, men's tennis player, he's wondering what's going on. There's a lot of questions about what has happened to this young lady. And so we're going to be diving into that in this video, guys. First, make sure you guys go over to the Black and White Network merch store. We're actually running a new special now. You're not going to get 15% off. You're going to get 21% off. Use the discount code LaChana Sucks, S-U-X, all one word. You're going to get 21% off because we know that LaChana James loves him some China. But there's a whole bunch of questions about the whereabouts of this young lady, because we know that if you speak out against the Chinese Communist Party, you can disappear. I mean, China's running concentration camps and pretty much, you know, these corporations, these athletes, they remain silent. So I'm wondering if LaChina James has anything to say about this, but probably not. But let's go ahead. Let's read this, guys. Chinese officials silent on missing tennis star after certain claims. I'm cleaning it up here for YouTube. Uh, Chairman Z crackdown may be connected. Peng Shua, I bet guess that's the way you pronounce the name, has not been seen for the past two weeks after making her allegations. Now, I want to sum up her allegations here in a nutshell, okay? She basically claimed that she was pretty much me too'd by somebody high up in the CCP, and it was against her will. She even claimed that uh, uh, this man's uh, wife was involved in on this. And she went public with this and now nobody can find her. Nobody can find her. Let's read some of this here. Chinese officials have remained silent or outright dodged questions about missing tennis player Peng Chua after posting an email she allegedly sent to the WTA, which is the Women's Tennis Association. It seems like. And we have the email, too. It seems like it just raised more questions. It was a weird email. I'm going to read it here. And man, I'm just this. This could be pretty bad here. Pretty bad here. But this is the email that was allegedly sent from uh, Peng Shua to, to the WTA. It says, hello, everyone. This is Peng Shua regarding the recent news. Uh, released on the official website of the WTA, the content has not been confirmed or verified by myself, and it was released without my consent. The news in that release, including the allegations, is not true. I'm not missing, nor am I unsafe. I've just been resting at home and everything is fine. Thank you again for caring about me. If the WTA publishes, any more news about me, please verify it with me and release it with my consent. As a professional tennis player, I thank you all for your companionship and consideration. I hope to promote Chinese tennis with you, with you all if I have the chance in the future. I hope Chinese tennis will become better and better. Once again, thank you for your consideration. I got the feeling that she didn't write this. I mean, we know that China controls everything over there. And it even says right here. 
He says uh, China's state controlled media appears to have suppressed any reporting on the case. Pang also disappeared from public since making the post two weeks ago, raising concerns, raising questions, I should say, about her whereabouts and whether she is being detained. Asked repeatedly about the case, China, China's uh, foreign ministry spokesperson, Zhao Linjian, said again on Thursday that he is unaware of it. Chinese celebrities have faced suppression and censorship in their country whenever they criticize actions by the government or officials, especially if those comments cast a light of impropriety on the nation. And we know this happened. I mean, a lot of people in Hong Kong, by the way, are very, very upset with Jackie Chan because Jackie Chan has been very much pro China and not Hong Kong. And I believe it has all to do with he won't have a career unless he bends the knee to China. We've seen the NBA, man. The NBA bends the knee to China. China has been so, so much enabled by corporations. Uh, the government, the current administration is definitely pro China. They ain't pro America and Americans. Another story. I digress. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of uh, Peng Shui uh, missing? This is concerning, man. It says uh, searches for Peng Shui, Peng Shui's name on China's uh, Sogo search engine turned up only articles about her tennis career. Her account on Weibo no longer allows comments and no uh, results turn up if people search for her Weibo account. Whoa. Unreal. Unreal. I'm just at a loss of words. That's her right there. I mean, if anybody in China sees her, that's her picture right there. Okay. Wow. Four time major winner Naomi Osaka posted a statement on Twitter with hashtag where is Pain Chua since censorship is never okay at any cost. I hope Pain Chua and her family are safe and okay. Osaka wrote. I'm in shock of the current situation. I'm sending love and light her way. Swiss tennis player Stan Wawrinka, who has won three majors, shared a post to encourage hashtag where's Peng Shua. Yeah, where is Peng Shua? Lachana James, get out there. Go on Twitter. Put the hashtag where is Peng Shua. But we know he will not do that. We know that the Marxist NBA of China Will not help in any kind of way. LeBron James may be the most powerful athlete, active athlete in the world. He wants nothing to do with this because that means going up against Daddy China. These people are pathetic, man. China is evil. They are no friends whatsoever of America. They're not friends of of humanity. They are inhumane. And need to be dealt with. I'm going to be very, very clear again. LeBron James, where are you at? You need to speak up on this. This doesn't make any sense. This young lady just disappears out of the blue like this. I know tennis ain't your sport, but you want to speak out on everything. Why not speak up on this? Because this is this is very, very concerning. People are concerned about her well-being. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.